Alright everybody, Local Cat back for another video, and uh, back on the LP world, doing a lot more episodes on here now, and uh, oh, I probably need blocks before I go anywhere. Uh, let's just grab some cobble, and then I'm going to need a few buckets of water for what we're doing today as well, so I'm just going to go grab that. I probably should have gotten prepared before I started recording, but uh, what you going to do? So, well, I'm still learning too, but... Here we go, water and water. So, today we're going to go down and build an XP trap. I kind of need <laughs> lots of XP, because I'm getting farther into the game and I need to enchant more stuff to do more stuff. Uh, I definitely need a shovel to enchant. This is a staircase that I just dug down randomly to try and find a cave. As you can see, I found some stuff along the way. Uh, but all the way down here, way, way, way down here, I don't have torches, do I? Nope. Um, let's see if I can, f nope, there it is, okay. So we're going to make an XP trap out of this. Sure. I need to turn my volume up a little bit. There we go, that's better. Alright, so I've been looking around, and the Minecraft wiki is no help at all with making these sort of spawners, but uh, going back and looking at some of Ethos Lab's older episodes, I found out that uh, to, and I'm just going to put this in simpler terms in this episode here, to the northwest, you want it to go one, two, three blocks. Nope, my bad, four blocks, so we want it to come all the way out to here three, four, and then we have the space under the spawner, that's five, and then to the southeast side we want three blocks, one, two, and three. Ooh, there we go, okay. And that is the size of the spawner so that we can get the maximum number of spawning spaces. So uh, let's just dig in here real quick and put an infinite spring. There we go. Now let's get to mining this out. I'm still using my old Unbreaking 1 pick, my very first diamond pick. Uh, oh, this also needs to go down one, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright, so it should be two above and two below, so the ceiling needs to come down one as well. Why can't they make spawners easier to make traps out of? This is just bordering on annoyance. And then, I forgot to mention before while I was talking about how big the spawner gets, uh, you want two blocks below and two blocks above, so that, that way zombies can spawn down here, as well as up on top of the spawner. And that will maximize your spawning space. So let's just fill this in here. Oop, not that. There we go. And, whoa, buddy. You ain't supposed to be here. Right, let's grab one of these. Put it over here. Light that up a bit more. There we go. Then this. Put this over here. There we go. That should work better. And we can just take this and put it... Nope, nope. Not there. Down here. Much better. Ugh, now you. Alright, come here. There you go. Get owned. Right now it's really just mining everything out. And this is the annoying part. Let's see, so there, there, there. There, 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 and there. Perfect. And let's move this down one. There we go. So now the next thing that we want to do is figure out where we want the front of the spawner to be. You know what, I'm going to go back here and fill this in a little bit so that, that way no zombies spawn back here. If, for some reason, I did it wrong, or if the radius is larger, 
just gonna fill that in a little bit. So I think we're gonna put the front right over here. So that's eight. And then we're gonna wanna go one farther. So that, that way we can push them down into a bit of water, bring them over this way, and then drop them. Uh, so let's see. I think we'll drop them down right here. My armor's taking quite a beating. We can also get rid of this. And this over here. And this all goes two down. Can I grab that? Yep, okay. And then we just bring it all the way over to here. Whoa, buddy. You scared the crap out of me. Calm down. Okay, just calm down. So now we put that there. And that there. We put a torch there. For safety. Probably should have brought extra torches, but oh well. Ah, uh, so. The next thing that we do. Is we need. To make sure. Well, we really just need to dig down. I'm going to make sure I know the correct number of blocks to dig. Alright, so the correct number of blocks is 22. Uh, if we dig down any more than that, then they will just die. And if we dig down any less than that, they won't die. Ooh, Damn reflexes. Uh... Will that help? Probably not, but mm, I can try. So now we just have to dig down 22 blocks from here. One. It's probably not the smartest thing to dig straight down, but oh well. Let's dig down side by side. Two. Three. Four. Then that's four, right? One, two, three, four, okay. Five. Six. So we're down at the bottom here. There's a nice pool of lava here. Uh, so they're gonna fall down right here. We have to block this side up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, nineteen. Crap. That's 20. So we need to go down two more. So if I jump this... Eh, you know what, I don't want to risk it. There we go. So 20, and then 21, 22. There we go, so we got to dig down some more. Crap, that's bedrock right there. Um... Is that 22? Let me check and make sure I'll... Alright, so I've tested it a couple times, and uh, this 22 block fall brings me straight down to a half a heart. So that is what we're going to use. We've already blocked up that lava, okay. So... I think we may need some torches. But we don't have any on us. So, that kind of sucks, but, uh, yeah, we can use that lava for a little bit of light for now, and we're going to bring that across there so we can hit them through there, probably use a half slab instead, so we'll leave that open for now. Let's mine this out a bit so we can get a nice little room going. Uh, Obviously going to want to block there and a block there. But we'll get to that in a minute. Let's mine another three blocks this way. One, two, and three. There we go. So that, that way we have enough space to do something 
if we wish to. Then we can just go to into the wall here and dig up. Oh, crap. Yep. Ah. Uh, first we have to figure out how we're going to get out. And I'm not liking our chances of that. something here and here we are should be at the surface in just a moment there we go so uh oop, forgot to mine the second path where's the second path there we go so I think we're just gonna put a ladder and then fill in the second one with a water drop at the bottom so that that way we can drop all the way down without fear of dying. So let's just grab some ladders and then come back down the exact same way. House looks pretty good, I think. Never seen it from the back before. Well, I've never really looked at it from the back before. So... This episode is probably getting a bit long, so I'm gonna cut out most of the rest. I'm just going to need to get a couple of things, obviously. It's going to be very crude at the beginning. Uh, oh, there's my wood. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long. I have nothing, though. Jeez. Alright, so I'm really sad that I wasn't recording this, but as I was coming up from down here, uh, I came up... Oh, crap, there's another zombie. Killed a zombie in full chain. I got the chain helmet. I'm really happy about this. This is amazing. I got a chain helmet. Mm -hmm. now I just have to get the full chain armor and then put it on display. Mm -hmm. That's how he's gonna go. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. No, no, no. That's not how you do it. So, uh, I have... Well, that was a bit of a drop. The mob farm is finished. Hope there isn't lava there. Nope, there isn't. Okay, that's just water. You can drop and go to here. Let's put a crafting table down here. Right. I don't know. Uh, let's block this up. And then let's grab our glowstone back. We can put that somewhere else. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, we can put the glowstone there for now, I guess. Uh, yeah, that lights up the room very well. We can put another two pieces over here. Just, just for light for now. And then the crafting table we can put... I don't know, it seems like right there would be good. No. That's just... It doesn't look right. So we'll put cobble there. We'll put the crafting table... There. There we go. And then under here we can put a chest. Alright, so right here we have 70 zombies. Uh, ish. 70, 100 some. Doesn't matter. So let's punch them all to death. what happens. It's probably easier if I have potions. But I do not, so I'm just gonna have to punch them over and over and over again. Probably in very, very fast motion. Alright, so all the zombies are gone. 
but I'm definitely going to need to get potions soon because that took a long time and I completely depleted my hunger bar in the time that I punched those 60 or so zombies to death and imagine if it was 600 or so not just 60 that could be that could really be bad so uh this is what we got about a stack and a half ish of rotten flesh two iron ingots and some leather pants i'm definitely going to keep the chain helmet forever uh so we're level 31 now so we're gonna go upstairs quickly and enchant a shovel before we all right so here is the shovel i'm gonna need to be doing a lot of digging to make all of the paths to interconnect the buildings that we'll build so uh, we're definitely gonna want a nice shovel so let's go in here now i need to take all this away there we go. And level 30. Uh, let's just cycle a few times. Just spam the buttons. There we go. Okay, this looks good. Alright, crossing the fingers. Here's hoping to an efficiency 4 unbreaking 3 shovel. Alright, let's see about this. Yes! Efficiency 4 unbreaking 3. Perfect shovel. Great end to the episode. I'll